going on and welcome back. So, uh, last Saturday, I worked on cleaning this little room out and I got it done. It took like five and a half hours to move four shelves until you get that little room cleaned out. But I got it done. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a updated game room tour. Before we start, a couple things. Uh, one, not that much has changed in here other than the fact that I got more room. And two, I'm gonna film the game room tour with my iPhone because this camera right here tends to, uh, I don't know, get out of focus when I'm trying to show like up close shots of like the video games that I have in here. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start right here with the desk because I really can't do nothing with this desk. I can't like really move it around because uh, it's too big for this little room. So it's got it just sits right there. Um, and yes, I am playing Horizon Zero Dawn, and I like to theme my wallpaper with the game that I'm playing. It annoys my son, so I love it. What was it last? Uh, a few weeks ago, I was playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I did finish that game. And I had a Ghost of Tsushima wallpaper. And when I got done the next day, he's like, Really? Really? I was like, Yep. So, yeah, I'm going playing through this one now. So I can pick up, uh, what was it Forbidden West? But yeah, this is still the same. Can't really do nothing with this. So it's always going to be like this. That's what I see when I'm filming. The Castlevania pictures and wall clock, that's still the same. Uh, my Rise of Tomb Raider poster is still there. I haven't changed. My first issue of Nintendo Power is still there. This is different though right here. Uh, if you remember, I had a shelf with PlayStation, PSP, PS Vita, and uh, Xbox games on here. Now, I have uh, some Genesis games. And yes, that's the Sega Genesis with the red clamshell, or with the red shell. I don't know how I got that. <laughs> I don't know. A buddy of mine gave it to me. He might have painted it or something, but I think it looks cool. And it does work. This is still the same. The Zelda Amiibos. The Game of Watches right there. The Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary banner that Stetson stole from Walmart. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> he thought it was cool, so he took it. I was like, oh, okay, I'll put it in the room. Picture of Link right there. My Final Fantasy VII Advent Children poster. Ah, that game shelf is gone now. Instead, I got the air conditioner right there, which ain't gonna be in here for that much longer. Well, you know, just until the summer, and then I'll put it in, in the in the storage but for right now that's gonna be there what I'm gonna put there uh, to replace that when winter comes I don't know yet maybe a little chair or something a beanbag so I can kick back right there and watch like you know movies or play games or whatever so yeah and then over here oh yeah the castle radio posters are still there now this is what changed a little bit see and they got some pop figures right there and the street fighter uh, what was that fighting stick I've shown this before I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it. it's got the certificate uh, of authenticity right there my buddy James gave me it's kind of hard to see because I don't have no light back here but yeah now I got all the PlayStation 4 games right there. And then we keep going down right here. And then it turns into Xbox One. I still have all my Xbox One games right here. I remember my last uh, game room tour. I was trying to show off the games that were here. That's where I, where I had, this is where I had the, uh, the Sega Genesis games and it got all blurry. And people don't like that. Yes. I had a pair. I got a Roadrunner that my son bought me from a uh, 
a national park that he visited last weekend. She's like, hey, Dad, I got your roller. I was like, nice. Got the frame Meister right there. My little bitty PlayStation 5 collection. And right here we got PS2 games. Nothing really changed with the PS2. Still the same ones. They're just in this little corner now. Because if you can remember, right here in this corner, I used to have all the NES games. The Nintendo Power still right there. I don't know how I moved that one. I might move it. There's that shelf. They have my PlayStation, Saturn, Vita, PSP games, and Xbox games that was right over here. I just moved it over here. So, yeah, that's what's a little bit different in here. Instead of Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all that, now it's like mainly like just PlayStation and Xbox. This is still the same right here. Like I said, I might move this also. It's still there. Now, I have the Sega Genesis games right here. You know, got some loose carts on top. But for the most part, mostly all my Genesis collection is complete in box with manuals. Most of them. I made a video on that a little while back. If you want to go back and look at all my Sega Genesis games. Now, for the room. Here it is. We'll start right here. On this side, I got my little collection of uh, Switch games. Some little arcade games right there. And I got the Super Nintendo. All the stuff that was over there in that corner is now in here. I just moved it over. And you know what's funny? Like, when I moved this stuff from out there to in here, it didn't fit right. How does that work? You know, like when you take something apart, you always lift, you always have like leftover screws. That's what, that's how it felt. That's exactly how it felt. And if you come over here, Yes. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> I taped it up and I put the poster up of Kelly Kapowski right here. That's that's nostalgic. Let me tell you why it's nostalgic. Because look at this. This is all my NES games right here. This is like stuff from the 80s. You know what I mean? So I thought hey, that's perfect. We'll put this poster here. You know. My original Legend of Zelda game from the 80s with the original saves still on here. That's not too 80s, but hey, it's Mario. The Mario Kart Happy Meal. And a poster of Bullet Witch right here. Why? I don't know. But that's just there. I think it looks cool. But anyways, yeah. That's the little room. That's what I, that's what I did with it. Uh, for now, it's going to stay like this. I might end up moving those uh the nes classic and the super nintendo uh classic in here somewhere got some space and then that, that nintendo power i might move it you know maybe like right here or something i don't know uh, i'll have to figure that out at another time oh i don't know if you saw that that's oh, i didn't show that you got the pac-man uh tin sign right there and that is an ocarina but yeah like i said not much has changed but if i scoot back a little bit you can see that there is a whole lot more room in here than what there used to be like i said before there was a shelf right there and a shelf right there but now that i I moved this little shelf right here and I got rid of that. I don't know. Just to me, it feels like it's a, a, a whole lot more space here. 
well, there you go. That was the room, like I said. Not much has changed other than the fact that I moved some games around, you know. And now the, all the NES stuff, mainly or most of all the NES stuff is there in that room. Now, one of the main reasons that I did this, besides making more space, is because I'm gonna start collecting for, well, I don't like using the word collecting. I ain't collecting shit. I'm gonna start acquiring more Switch games because I like to Switch a lot. So, and I need space, you know, to, to display the games, you know, because I love physical video games. I don't like buying digital shit unless I absolutely have to, but if I can get a physical copy, you know, I'll go for a physical copy. I've talked about this before. But yeah, need more space for Switch games. Um, it ain't gonna be happening anytime soon though, you know. But when it does, when it does, when I, you know, get a good amount of Switch games, then I'll put another shelf up. Like I said, that air conditioner ain't gonna be in here for that long. It will, you know what, like another, what, two, three months, and then it's gotta go because it'll start getting cold here, hopefully. But yeah, um, you know that I do a game room tour at the beginning of every year, and I'm still gonna do a game room tour at the beginning of next year. Um, this is just a little update. Uh, is the room gonna stay the same by next year? By the beginning of next year? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You know, we still got like, what, six months to go or something? So, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.